Bonjour, good afternoon, Anin. This is Kathy Chavers, uh, Tribal Chairwoman, uh, with our Thursday update. Uh, right now, I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year. Um, I know it's been kind of crazy lately uh, nationally, but um, Happy New Year to everybody, and let's hope that this new year is a lot better. Uh, I do want to report that right now, currently, as, as far as I know, there's zero cases on the reservation and no one is in isolation or quarantine. Um, also, if you notice, I got my shot today. Uh, my first shot uh, was the Moderna shot, and uh, we are um, kind of updating our criteria for those individuals who can get shots uh, just because uh, we're not sure how many vaccines we're getting on. Uh, usually we are getting them every other week, but we aren't certain they're going to come, and then we aren't certain with the amount. So uh, we are making changes to that uh, as we um, go along with regards to the vaccine. Uh, when you do get vaccinated, which I did today, uh, you can go on what is considered V-safe, and it's an after vaccination health checker. You get this handout that will tell you um, how to get on there, and what they do is they check in to see about your side effects, and they also remind you when your next shot is coming up, because this is uh, one of two shots. So um, I've had no side effects at this point, and I would encourage people, if you have questions, to call our clinics. And also, if you have concerns, um, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's uh, up to individuals if they want to receive the shot or not. But um, I did get my shot today, and so I got my sticker, and uh, I will go for the second shot. Uh, the other thing is that uh, we are uh, opening our fitness centers for uh, keyless entry. I would contact uh, David uh, Morrison Jr. or Kristen Strong regarding that. Uh, 218 uh, for the Vermilion and Net Lake Fitness Centers. Uh, we had cut out the remote uh, key access because uh, we thought that um, we might have too many people in there. We are still practicing safe protocols, wearing your masks, social distance, uh, wiping down on the machines, and uh, the other, um, uh, what is there? Well, whatever. Um, so I also want to mention that there is a grandfather teaching on uh, January 13th from 6.30 to 7.30. This will be the third series coming up and those have been very successful. We're very happy with them. Um, with regards to the stimulus funding that was just recently approved, we um, did receive notice uh, Monday night that there will be a rental assistance program coming through. And right now we don't know the amount, but the tribes will be receiving some. And we have to incur, we don't have to incur, we have to spend 65% uh, of the funds by September 30 or the Treasury will take the rest of the money. Uh, we will try to get more information out as it becomes available. Right now we just have to register and get credentialed through the Department of Treasury uh, at this point and so there will be more information coming out on that. Uh, we will be meeting with our accounting department to see about some uh, possible other programs coming through this stimulus package. Um, and then also with regards to some of the, we do have a few leftover funds uh, from the last uh, CARES Act money. So we'll be seeing how we're gonna distribute those uh, to what kind of programs and uh, any type of uh, uh, items that may be needed by uh, either some programs or we don't sure we aren't sure really what we're going to do with the money so we'll be meeting on that um i do want to say too that um you know i know that everybody yesterday which was um wednesday saw the actions at the state uh not the state but the washington dc well also at the minneapolis and, and all around concerning the um uh trump and his uh, supporters and i just want to say that now is a time for all of us to come together, uh, Republicans, Democrats, tribes, uh, to work together towards a, a better cause. It was very disheartening and embarrassing, I feel, uh, for us as a, a nation um, to be seen like that. And to, uh, this is a democracy, and we can all agree to disagree, which our tribal council is very good. We work together well, we can agree to disagree, and not hold uh, any, um, uh, negative feelings towards anybody. We can talk to each other just like we were uh, uh, before our disagreement. So um, I'm very proud of that with our council. And I just want to say that we are also very happy that uh, President Biden and Kamala Harris were certified. 
in the Electoral College vote, and also that the um, uh, Democrats now control the Senate. So we're hoping for some good, uh, good things to come in the future, uh, working with the Democrats and working with the new administration, and we really look forward to that. We are very also um, thankful to uh, uh, Governor Walls for uh, opening up some of the restaurants and uh, bars and uh, those businesses that have been struggling. Um, we also have our heart out to our people at Grand Portage at this time and those businesses that have been affected by the close of the border, which we're only 50 miles from the Canadian border. Um, we have seen an impact at our casino with regards to that, so hopefully soon our borders will open and uh, now with the vaccine out, but um, we don't know when those will be happening, but uh, you know, it does have an impact on, on us also here at Boys Fort. Um, so we really would like to uh, take this opportunity to say, uh, Chi Miigwech, uh, practice your social distancing, wear your masks, uh, don't gather in large crowds, be safe. Uh, with the opening of things, uh, we can get through this. Um, the second strain is being talked about. It's not here yet. We don't want it here, of course. Um, but I think it all depends, too, on how we conduct ourselves outside of our homes uh, with uh, being safe and uh, being uh, proactive with regards to our masks and social distancing and washing of our hands and uh, still practicing those safety protocols. So with that, I'd like to say to you, Miigwech, uh, have a good day, and uh, we'll be updating you again um, next Thursday. I do have one last comment I wanted to make. Um, every month we've been getting uh, boxes of food that we've been delivering to the homes. We will not be having any this January, as uh, Terry Morrison, who's been in charge of those food deliveries, is, uh, told us that they're gonna hold back for the month of January to reassess and reevaluate what the items are. So look for those starting in February. We will be doing a door-to-door -door, um, uh, uh, distribution of uh, information to our on-reservation residents on the 14th and 28th of January. So any kind of uh, updates that we have will be given uh, to our community members at that point. Other updates will be given on our website at boysfort.com or our Facebook page. So again, uh, thank you guys for everything. Um, stay safe and uh, uh, have a good day. Thank you, bye.